Hey guys, it's James. I'm going to tell you what Root is before you even attempt this video. So, essentially, it's getting special access on your phone. It's basically like administrator rights on Windows. Um, there is problems with it, though, as there is with everything. The biggest problem is, I mean, you can actually break your phone doing this stuff. Like, let's say you want to flash something. On these newer devices, it actually can mess it up. So, I'm just going to warn you on this be careful it will erase everything on your phone actually with these newer methods because everything is different than it used to be years ago when I first started getting the rooting it was simple you would just flash a few ADB files and bam you were root and you were cold and you could do anything nowadays you're going to be careful because it's just a whole new world so again you lose everything on your device be sure to back it up and have fun if you break your device or do anything to it that's stupid, I'm not responsible. Uh, I'm giving this word of caution and that's all I will do. Hey guys, it's James and today I'm going to be showing you how to root your LG V20. So we're going to be using this guide by JCAD UO Uno and uh, yeah it's not that hard, it's just the problem is if you're like new to this it's a little different than like other roots especially if you come from a Samsung device like I do the entire method of rooting is completely different so what we're going to need is the LG drivers and ADB fast food I have put these in the Google Drive link which will later be in the description below I'll show you how to do all this stuff such as developer options and all that later throughout the video okay I'm showing you the steps needed in order to get your device ready to flash. So do keep in mind the video is going to be a little shaky because I'm recording off my iPad. So obviously my V20 is in use. So it's pretty simple. Basically in order to get your device ready to flash, scroll over to general, go to about phone. I think it's minute. Software info. I'm going to tap build number seven times. So it says you are now a developer. Back again, you go to developer settings. I don't really care about any of this. Enable IM unlock. I already have it unlocked. My device was rooted beforehand, and it's not very easy to go back. <laughs> but you will disable it, click enable. In order to turn on USB debugging, your device must not be plugged into your PC. I'll turn on USB debugging. Alright, so you're going to click Always Allow from this Computer. This will make it where your device can communicate with your computer just fine. Now I'm going to drag this. Select the mode from charging and put it in Photo Transfer, aka TP. As it says in the XDA guide, you want to always use this. Alright, now that you've done all that, you want to uh, go on your PC and download the folders I've given you, so the files I've given you. So this is basically what you'll see, except, you know, it's Google Drive, so you guys should know how to at least navigate this. So you want to install the LG Mobile Driver, I'll show you the process, download. Keep in mind I already have it, but the principle is basically the same. But you'll download it and install it. You'll download executable, then install it. And from that point, I actually recommend rebooting your PC. Now the drivers are actually more stable. Because from what I've noticed, they're not as stable when uh, you just do it like as a clean install. So just reboot it. It's worth taking like extra few seconds at your time just to make it proper. So let's say you finally got all that done. You'll have a folder on your PC called. Actually, you first want to go to your local disk. Go to Program Files x86 if you're running 64 bit, which I imagine you all are. You're going to scroll down and look for minimal ADB and fast. Now keep in mind, I already got all the files that are needed for uh, everything. But you guys 
we'll have to click all the exploits and all that and then copy it over into your directory for minimal ADB so you'll notice I already got it installed pretty simple so you need to do is you need to open minimal ADB and yes I'm using Windows 10 but the process itself is exactly the same so you shouldn't have to re really worry yet okay you gotta make sure your phone is in PTP which I showed you guys that one mode earlier and your phone should have a message pop up once you open ADB about debugging which I showed you guys also earlier right your phone should be in photo transfer mode you'll want to make sure your ADB server is set up properly so you'll type in ADB devices sometimes they'll say ADB server starting up if you haven't started up already this is only makes sense say it only happens if and only if like you just reboot Windows so I'll say ADB server starting and all that then you'll eventually see your device which will be LG H918 so what I do now is you want to reboot to your bootloader which means uh, it's now in the bootloader which is a black screen with lots of white text so it's pretty simple from here you just type in fast boot I am unlock and this unlocks your bootloader now keep in mind you're going to lose all your data I warned you about this earlier in the video so if you're just have all your stuff backed up it's honestly not that hard but yeah it should be backed up before you do any of this so it says now unlocked so we're going to do fast boot get var which is all the variables all you'll see our bootloader is now unlocked so if you're like me you have your battery covered taken off what you shouldn't do is uh, just pull the battery and reboot it that hasn't really done anything for me yet and I don't actually know if it does anything but I don't recommend going that method it's just simpler to go fast boot reboot and your device will reboot you'll get a new thing on your screen it'll say your device software has been corrupted or something like that it's not it's fine it's just all G phones since like the G4 say that the bootloader is unlocked it's annoying there's really no fix you just gotta deal with it so in my case my V20 is rebooting and this is going to take a few minutes alright so once your device is finally done the reset and all that this is where it gets fun because you know you've done the fast boot unlock you know you have the little message on the screen like eh, your device is you know bad and all that it really isn't it's just LG being a bunch of twits nothing really else to say about that but it's true basically the best thing to do is you want to go to this guide by uh, well it's on github it's pretty simple it's by the same guy it looks all complex and just you know weird and if you're not like a Linux user like I am it seems really weird so under all this building stuff you're not going to be using that this is a no no don't even think about it just ignore it all you're going to be using is this stuff. So from this point, you'll be sitting in uh, the command prompt. This is where you'll be doing all your stuff. So we're going to type in all the commands that are listed there. But when the commands are done, you'll notice this is CHMA. Sorry, I'm uh, starting a little. I'm using the Premiere voiceover, which is a little weird because it reflects in your head and it sounds weird. But when you go to the CH mod. I repeat, when you go to the CH mod, it will have like a little red asterisk. Do be sure to copy that, or else it will not flash properly. Just to note, when it does come up to uh, the commands in GitHub, just copy and paste them. It's so much easier. But when there's like a dollar sign in the shell, don't copy that, or else it won't work properly. I would like to point out that there is later one command that will basically wipe your device and you will have to re-enable developer settings all over again. If you need to just reference back to the other, the earlier part of the video and you'll find what you need.
I'm gonna make a note right about here. You'll put in those commands. They do not go as fast as it looks like. It's just uh, cut down so the video is smaller and consumes less time for you. To get out of this big jumbled mess, the thing you do is just press Control C, like as if you were copying something. Now from here, it's actually pretty simple. You just flash on uh, the shell ADB Reboot Recovery, which will take you straight to recovery. And from there, it's pretty simple. We'll just let your phone reboot. It'll do its thing. Even though we've just gotten back into the shell, we are going to do everything like we've been doing previously. Um, soon, I'm on the commands, it's going to be saying, it'll look like your device is glitching out. Basically what it is, is it's like a white T-Mobile screen where it's like halfway black and there's like a small sliver of white. That's what it means by it's glitching out. I forget which command it is exactly. Let it do its thing and put on the command to reboot the device. That it says. That... There's nothing wrong with your device, just led to its fang and put in all the exact commands that it needs according to the guide on GitHub. Again, here is a prime example of where I cut down because the next command is long as hell. This upcoming command is one where you do not touch device at all. Um, just let it do its thing when it's flashing. This is basically what allows it to do the root properties, such as uh, well basically super user access. Just let it do its thing here. Do not touch a damn thing. This command won't do anything because I don't have the file set in a directory, so don't even do it like I did in the video. There's no point. This is where we'll be installing twerp. It's a little bit difficult at first, but once you uh, just follow the video, again, there will really be no captions in this part. Just watch and learn. Um, just put all the files I gave in the Google Drive link in uh, the exact same folder as your minimal ADB, and just copy and paste. With this part, with twerp, uh, just change the command. It doesn't say the twerp version. Just make it where, just type it out, make it say twerp to image, as it says in the file's name and uh, directory. It's much easier that way. There's less headaches. That way you can push it over, and it's so much easier on you to end user. can be seen here that I'm changing the name from twerp dot dash 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 to twerp dot image. Makes the process for you simpler and you'll thank me later as many people have requested saying how do I install twerp and this is the process of installing twerp. It's pretty simple and it's not that hard. This is the spot where it's easy to break your device. The best thing you can do here is push over the file known as no opt verity. Alright, so when your device needs to recover, you can do this while being in the terminal, aka command prompt, by typing in ADB reboot recovery. So you want to do this, you want to tap wipe format data. You want to type yes. Because your files are encrypted, you know, normally wouldn't let you put anything over there. So now, you would mount the device, but first enable enum, MTP, and your device is mounted. Alright, what you want to do now 
here in this spot is since your device is in recovery, it's kind of a brick, but it's also not at the same time because you're still in twerp. You want to copy over a couple files. These files are pretty simple. So you're going to go to the directory where all your stuff is stored, which isn't downloads because I clicked the wrong thing. But you want to go to where it's all stored. So for me, it's all in the minimal ADB file. You can't easily send it over, so it's just easier to copy and paste onto your device after mounting it, unless it's all empty, because it's like a brand new device. They're over. And since you format data, like I said to do, you will copy over, so you will flash the no opt verity. You can flash the user too, but no opt verity is smaller, and it takes less time. So, after that, your device should be pretty easy to use. Alright, after you send over those files, you want to unmount, mount your system. You want to install in your SD card directory, no opt verity. Now, there was another file in there, but that one was for the custom ROM, which I'll show you later. So, it's going to flash, do its thing. The super user, by the way, would take about five minutes longer. So just use no op verity, but I give you an option for a super user if you want to waste your time. <laughs> so you will reboot your system. This is the screen I was talking about earlier in the video. It can never go away unless some developer figures out an exploit to get rid of it. It's going to blah blah blah. And it comes back to life. And no, this does not go into a boot loop of, hey, your device is still encrypted. No, it acts like a straight up new device. Except for mine, because I had to copy some files over. We'll do this. Once it's completely done, I'll show you the process of what? Alright, so flashing a custom ROM is easy. You wipe, but not the format data. You Dalvik system, data, and regular cache. Those are the ones you want to get rid of. Keep in mind, if you're, well, if you haven't really backed up your device, I recommend doing it in this menu first before you do any changes. That way, if you mess up, you have a basis to go back on. So that way you don't have, not necessarily a brick, but it's a lot easier to work with. So we've pretty much wiped the device clean, except for storage. So now we're going to flash the ROM, which I will put in the description below. And it will flash itself. Keep in mind this one, you don't have to do the no opt verity because it does it itself because it's built into the ROM package. This usually you take a minute or so to flash. So I'll do it. Alright, the flashing is done. It has a desk and important notice. If it does one or two boot loops the first time, just let it do its thing. Or else you will not only have a working device for a little bit. Let it do its thing, press the power button, speed it up. It's only like five seconds, so might as well just wait. As I said, it does this little boot loop. I would have gone to twerp if it was actually a boot loop. And now it's bringing to a custom version of Android. I'll probably make a video later on mods, but that's not the time right now. This is for you guys to figure out how to do it all. So have a nice day. Enjoy your rude device.